Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Popular prophets, popular Lagos prophets, primates, the primate of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Prophet Elijah Ayodele has revealed that the coronavirus will kill more prominent people in Nigeria. Ayodele, in a statement made available to newsmen on Tuesday, December 15, noted that the killer virus is on a mission to kill those drawing back the country. Adding that God is angry with the present administration and everyone involved in the disruption of the country system. He said, COVID-19 is ready to kill more people that are making Nigeria to go backwards. More personalities will die of COVID-19. Let Nigerians join me in prayer between the 1st and the 14th of January to pray against death in the villa. COVID-19 is still much around. Apart from this, the review of Imo State Governorship election will still take place. Hope Uzadinma should sit right, otherwise he will see the shocker of his life. On the senatorial election of Okigwe Zone, if they put any APC candidate wrongly, he will not rule. Thus said the Lord. Only the PDP candidates, Emmanuel Okewulonu, is anointed to be on the senatorial seat of Okigwe Zone, the prophet said. He further said, God is angry with people who have disrupted this country. Either you are a pastor, politician, or anybody. I will elaborate more on this on the 22nd of December, he added. The prophet warned that Nigerians should pray against scores of death as a result of the novel coronavirus. Alright guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? In another news, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Ibrahim Tanko Muhammad, has tested positive for the COVID-19. Justice Ibrahim Saulawa, a member of the Supreme Court, made this known at the unveiling of the National Headquarters of the Muslim Lawyers Association of Nigeria, Mulan, on Tuesday in Abuja. According to him, Mohammed is currently receiving treatment in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Recall that Mohammed was absent at the swearing-in of 72 new senior advocates of Nigeria on Monday. Mohammed's duty was performed by Justice Olabode Rhodes Vivo, the next most senior justice of the Supreme Court, who administered oaths to the new senior advocates. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? This is serious. There are fears, serious fears in the country as um, 
Could this be part of what the um, prophet is saying? That the coronavirus is to kill more prominent people in Nigeria. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. A lot of people, you know, just recently, the major general in the Nigerian army was reported to have died of the COVID-19. Immediately, the conference was suspended and uh, all the top generals in the country was reported to have gone into isolation. And um, they are receiving treatment according to information. From the look of things, it is really, really a very serious one. It's like the COVID-19 is um, coming to the country or coming to Nigeria at the moment. And it is centered on the prominent people in the country. Well, do you think that the prophet has seen well or what his prophecy is really um, going to happen is really true well be that as it were it is what it is but there are fears now among the people that the COVID-19 will kill more prominent people in the country this is really really threatening and this is really, really um, getting people worried, as it were. Well, it remains to be seen who are those that will be the casualty of this particular uh, prophecy. And um, he has said that they should pray against death in the villa. What could this imply, or what do you think this could mean? Also, on the review of the Imo State Governorship election, that is still going to take place. Do you think that Hope Uzadema will still be the governor of Imo State after the review? Do you think that the Supreme Court will change their judgment? On the issue of the senatorial candidate of the Okigwe zone in, Owere, in Imo State, do you think that the APC ha will somehow find their way to claiming the ticket. You know, APC was, uh, uh, was announced as the winner, but there was no candidate. So who was the candidate that was voted for is the question. A lot of things have gone wrong in the country. And uh, INEC is really, really acting in a very pitiable manner at the moment. Well, it remains to be seen how things unfold and what will happen, you know, in this situation or in the country. We keep our fingers crossed and we watch how, to, what, how things unfold. But it, is, it has been said that prominent Nigerians, more prominent people also will die in Nigeria of the COVID-19 disease. Can they prevent it? Can they escape it? It remains to be seen. Well, we drop our fingers, we keep our fingers crossed, rather, to see how things unfold. What are your thoughts, guys? Well, let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Drop by at the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are. Also, do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.